Yeah, it's looking more likely we're going to have our first decent snow across the mountains, especially the northern mountains, as we head through tonight into tomorrow. Maybe a little coating in some of the lower elevations of things set up right as well. So we take a look at our Washington warnings and advisories. We issued these yesterday afternoon. Really haven't changed this morning. You see winter weather advisories across the Bighorns, Zorkas, eastern slopes of the winds, as well as the Teton Rovant Range. If you want to start end times on these, a couple different ones here. Go to our website, weather.gov slash RW. And overall, uh, this is going to be a fairly wet storm as well, even if you don't see any snow. This is rain and snow combined. The term for that is what meteorologists call QPF, quantitative precipitation forecast, because as the government, we love acronyms. Anyway, you can see a pretty good chance of seeing about a half an inch or more, anywhere from, say, about a Cokeville over to a Casper lot in either the north. That'll be the general, uh, I think, amount across there. Some of the areas could pick up maybe as much as an inch. Highest amounts, big horns. Also, the east slopes of the winds, maybe over here near the Absorcas as well. And one more thing we got to talk about, that's the wind. There'll be two uh, periods of wind. Now, those of you across the south, Kemmerer here over toward Casper, this will be mainly uh, during the day today before the cold front comes in, gusts to maybe 30, 40, 45 miles per hour. And across northern Wyoming, especially the Bighorn Basin, level down toward uh, Warland, Thermopolis, also up here around Buffalo. This will be probably be tonight, especially after midnight tonight, gusts to maybe 30, 40 miles per hour. I could see a few gusts at 50 miles per hour up in here if things set up right, though. Now you're, now you're really looking for what the snow's going to do, so start me taking a look at the probabilistic stuff after we summarize the impacts. Got a little ahead of myself there. So the colder temperatures, it should stay fairly mild east of the divide today. It will feel cooler, but these temperatures are generally what we usually see this time of year, probably 60 to 65. They'll start cooling, turning cooler later tonight, especially across the north. And snow level's dropping down to about six to 7,000 feet, especially later tonight. Now if you're traveling through the mountain passes, Looks like during the day today you should be okay, even if the snow is falling, the ground's really warm, so conditions really getting a little bit worse, I think, tonight, especially late tonight, once temperatures drop, we lose the heating of the day and the sun. And those of us in the lower elevations should remain uh, mainly rain, or it could be a coating of snow that may occur during the morning hours on Sunday, especially in northern areas like Cody, maybe Dubois as well. I'll show you a map of that if things set up correctly. Now we'll get to the probabilistic stuff. See so what happens. Bring to much when you do shift work. Anyway, low end amounts across the area, if things stay a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, you can see still probably at least six inches across the areas where we have the advisories. So, and then across the lower elevations, maybe not get anything, maybe just a cold rain, but if things get a little bit cooler, snow precipitation comes down a little bit harder. Like the worst case scenario, if you don't like snow, maybe locally up to 18, maybe 20 inches in some of the highest elevations, especially in the uh, Wind River Range and over here across the Bighorns. This will be above 10,000 to 11,000 feet. So unless you're high, climbing the mountain, it won't really affect you that much. Now, lower elevations, which we really want to talk about. See, western valleys, we could have maybe a coating to an inch here. But places like Cody, maybe a coating there. Maybe all the way down to Thermopolis as well, if things cool off right. Two or three inches possible around Dubois, especially the west side of town, when you can start getting up toward the pass. Maybe the coating around land or maybe even now the highland area you could see a coating out of this. Maybe up on top of Casper Mountain as well. But again, that's the worst case scenario. Now, the most likely thing we'll see, just about smack dab in the middle like you expect, generally six to 12 inches across the areas we have the advisories of Zorka's Wind Rivers and the Bighorns. Maybe up to 15, 16 inches across the highest elevations there. Lower elevations could see, best see, chance of seeing a trace of snow here across the Jackson Valley. Maybe from Cody, I think especially down toward Batitsi gets a little bit higher in here, so maybe Cody to an inch there. Also around Dubois, maybe a slushy inch of snow on Sunday morning. And um, across Yellowstone, if you're heading up in that area, I'd say anywhere from about two to four inches, depending on your elevation. And one more thing we got to talk about, this will be Sunday night after the snow's winding down. That's a chance of a killing frost, maybe a freeze in the, in the growing season. These are predicted low temperatures right now. You can see they're a little bit above freezing. A couple things you got to remember, though. Number one, these are taken about 30 feet above the ground, so the ground temperature should be a little bit warmer. And this is assuming that the clouds hang around. Now, if it clears out late at night, it'll probably be 4 to 5 degrees colder than this, and that'll definitely give you a frost or a freeze, and likely end the growing season Sunday night into Monday morning. Here's our resources. If you want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RW. Now, for road conditions, go here for road conditions. Don't call us. This is why I got it right from the source here on the web, railroad.info. You want to call them on the phone if you're in Wyoming, 511, coming from out of state, 188 Wild Road. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.